Good day, everyone. Today we're going to begin 10.3, day one, which means we're going to actually be graphing cube roots instead of square roots. So you're going to be very familiar with this by now because we are um, getting into cube roots and you are using some of the same um, notifications, the same uh, transformations. And go ahead and make sure you log into decimals if you haven't done so or have some sort of a graphing calculator ready because we're going to be comparing between cube um, the the square root and cube root okay so we're going to be comparing between square root and cube root functions so here we go 10.1 day one and notice that the cube root function looks like almost exactly the same as the square root function except for that cube symbol right there. So it could be very easily be mistaken. So be careful with that. And we are going to be um, looking at the mother function of the cube root. So the cube root is given by um, the symbol right here, cube root. And the inverse, it is actually the inverse of the cube function, right? And it's always a one to one. And the domain is all reals, range is all reals. Um, so the we have n behavior, which means as you go to the right hand side, positive infinity, the graph is going to be pointing up. So as you go to the positive infinity side, the right side, the graph is going to go up. So you're going to go right and up. As you go to the left side, which is the negative infinity, which means left side right here, negative infinity, the graph is going to be pointing down. So you go left, you're going to be pointing down so it's negative negative okay so as you go to the right you're going positive infinity as you go to the left you're going negative infinity that's the end behavior and it has a point symmetry right here about the origin right um so we have uh, the table here what is the cube root of negative eight so if you can enter that into calculator you're going to get negative two what is the cube root of negative 1? You're going to get negative 1. What's the cube root of 0? You should get 0. And the cube root of 1 is 1. The cube root of 8 is actually 2. So that's actually found with these points right here. So here they are. These are the points that are throughout. Um, negative 1, 1 is here. 1, 1 is here. And then 8, 2 is like right there. So the, that is what makes up the points uh, for the... Um, cubic function, the cube root function, excuse me, and we're actually going to have five reference points. So here's the general equation again, and then um, again, this is just a quick review. A is vertical stretch or compression, B is horizontal stretch or compression, H is going to show you going to the left or going to the right, and then finally K is going to um, show us the graph is going to go up or down. So here we have um, the quick um, some examples again to show the quick transformation so we're going to actually just practice using um, what we have already know, uh, worked with for I, uh, the square root functions so again this is a quick review so everyone should practice this before you even go on so pause the video you should actually know how to do this so practice saying it verbally um, and writing it down and here are the answers. So this one is um, two units to the right This one means one to the left. This is four going down. This is three going up. This is a vertical stretch of Factor of six. This is a vertical compression Factor of one half. This is a reflection across the x-axis and this right here is going to give us a horizontal stretch. Remember, 5 is actually the number underneath, so B equals 5. Horizontal stretch of 5, and this is going to be a horizontal compression because it's 1 over 1 third, right? So B equals 1 third. That's horizontal compression of 1 third. And finally, this is a reflection across the y-axis because it's inside. Okay, so that's a quick review. And the transformations and again I just mentioned earlier we have five reference points and here they are again and we will need to have these five points for a good uh, picture of the cube root so therefore we will be using five um, transformation points so here is the first example 
And we're going to be graphing this manually and don't use decimals until the end, okay, to verify. So here we have um, the equation, which is given by g of x here. So this is a cube root function. That's how you can tell because there's a cube root right there. And we're going to be looking at the um, transformations first. So the first thing we notice is that there's a 2 underneath inside, which means b is equal to 2, right? So b equals 2, that means there is a horizontal uh, stretch because it's greater than 1. So there's a horizontal um, stretch of 2 factor. And then we're going to move, what, 10 units to the right. And then right, uh, we're going to go 4 units up. So 10 right and 4 up. And I believe that's all the transformation. So we're going to need two columns again. This is the x and that's the y. So according to the equation, everything that goes inside will be going with the x. So it's going to be here. So we have b equals 2, right? So we have bx, which means 2x. Moving to the right, again, to is to add to the left is subtract so it's 2x plus 10 that's going to be my um, x equation and then the y part is remember is the easy part so you call everything that is inside with the cube root just call it y so there we have y plus 4 see how easy that is y plus 4 and now we're going to do the math so we got 2 times negative 8 that's negative 16 plus 10 that gives us a negative 6 and then we got 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2 plus 10. That gives us 8, right? And then next, we got 2 times 0, which is 0 plus 10, that's 10. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 10 is 12. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 10. Wow, it's a big number, 26. And then next, we have um, the y value. So negative 2 plus 4, that's 2. Negative 1 plus 4, that's 3. 0 plus 4 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, and 2 plus 4 is 6. So those are the new points of um, the transformation. So let's see what they look like now. We got negative 6, 2. Well, that's going to be, looks like every point is 4. So negative 6, 2 is like right there. We got 8, 3. So 3 is like right there. And then 10, 4. So 10, 4 is right here. And 12, 5. So 12, 5. 5 is right there, and then 16, 6, right here. So we've got five points that look like they're pretty lined up, and the best way to do is look for the point in the middle. That should be like where the break point is, and then you're going to kind of like draw it the above. Basically, it's kind of like a square with put together the like both directions, okay? So this is like going the other way. So that the point in the middle is kind of like the break point. So this is kind of what the cube root function should look like. At this point, I need you guys to go into decimals and then enter this equation um, right here into the uh, decimals. Just use y. And then take a look at if this is kind of like what it should look like. So it should look pretty much uh, the same thing as what we got. And hopefully you know the the procedures now we are going to repeat this for the next problem and here we are for more practice so here's the cube root function again and we have the equation is right here and we're going to practice with the reference points again so here are the reference points and we're going to name the transformation so what is the first thing that we see we see 10 unit to the right and then six units up and that's all we see there is no reflection no stretch or compression which is uh, pretty nice and clean. Those are only two um, transformations. So that's it. And we're going to use the uh, equations now to obtain our points. So given that we have everything inside is going to go with x, that's going to be um, 10 units to the right. So to the right is add. So we're going to have, uh, what do we have? x plus 10 going to the right. And then we got um, Everything in the bracket, we're going to read it as what? y, right? So we've got y plus 6. Here's our next equation. So those are the two simple equations that we have. We're going to do the math now. Negative 8 plus 10 is 2. Negative 1 plus 10 is 9. 0 plus 10 is 10. 1 plus 10 is 11. And 8 plus 10 is 18. Those are the x coordinates that are transformed. And then y is going to be easy too. Negative 2 plus 6, that's 4. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 0 plus 6 is 6. 
1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus 6 is 8. We're going to graph the new points here. So it's 2, 4, right here, and then 9, uh, 5, 10, 6, 11, 7, and then 18, 8 is probably off the chart somewhere. So again, the point in the middle is going to be like this way. And then this one is going this way. So the new graph is looking something like this. So now you can go ahead and use decimals to verify that we have the correct equation. So go ahead and do that right now. And we are going to practice more right now. So you need to do this on your own before um, you look at the answer. And uh, here we go. Um, we have a vertical compression factor of one half because a is less than one. We're going to go two units to the left because it's a plus and then we're going to go three down. So those are the transformations. Everyone got it? So you should practice getting this and everyone should be getting better at it now instead of um, keep waiting for me to give you the answer. So you should actually practice this. So hopefully you are moving along on the transformations. And these are the reference points again. So let's go ahead and get our equation. The only thing that is inside is going to be the um, two units to the left. So again, to the left, we subtract to the right, we add. So we got x minus two, we're going two to the left, right? And then for the y, everyone is going to read that bracket as a y. So it's one half y minus three, you see? So we have one half y minus three and we're gonna use the x point. So negative eight minus two is negative 10. Negative one minus two is negative three. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 8 minus 2 is actually 6. The y values are going to be half of 2, that's uh, that's a little bit um, complicated, half of negative 2 minus 3, that's going to be 1, um, and then 1, negative 1 minus 3 should be negative 4. So we got 1 half times, so that's going to be negative half, minus three, that's negative three and a half. And then zero, that's easy, negative three. Um, half of two is half, half of one is half. And then minus three, that's negative two and a half. And then lastly, we're gonna have half of two, which is one, one minus three is negative two. So we're gonna graph the points negative 10 and negative four, which is like right there. And then negative three, which is right here, negative three and a half right here. Negative two, negative three, right here. Negative one, negative two and a half. And then negative, uh, this is actually six, negative two. So the graph, it should be like something like this. This is very, very, um, tight the, the the condense the graph for this one so you're gonna have to need to use the decimals right now and enter that equation into decimals and see if it looks something like this or you'll be hopefully seeing a better version of the graph so that's the gist of graphing cubic um, functions cube root functions using the transformation so that is the end of the lesson for today go ahead and get started with your homework and Google Classroom, and have a nice day.